Well, I step out the door this morning and look who's sitting there. It's old Foxy Poo. Right when I was getting out my rifle. Hmm. I think he's going now. Dad, you know what today is? What? <laughs> it's opening day! <laughs> opening season! That's right. Let's go get them. That's right, y'all. Not opening day of smallmouth season or largemouth season. It's opening day of dove season. And that's all Dad's been talking about. Hey, it's exciting. I'm ready to go. You know, it's rare that I get the opportunity to go with my son and dove hunt. Well, let's go crack some birds with some old shotguns. We're going to be hunting with antique shotguns today. Are they antiques? Antiques. They are Remingtons that were built on the browning pattern. We're going to be hunting with Remington Model 11s. Dad's got a 12 gauge and he recently got a 16 gauge he wants me to use because it kicks too hard for it. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. That is just a pretty shotgun. The old humpback. Yep. That's just really neat, man. It kicks like a mule. All right, and you're going to thank me for buying this little recoil pad <laughs> at the last minute because I shot it last weekend and it bruised me. This is after a week. Just so people are aware. What's going on there? Jeez. <laughs> those little shells you're telling me? Yeah, those little did shells. Did that? Oh my goodness, man. Hopefully I can hit a broadside of a barn or a dove. There you go. This is just a special day to come out here with my dad. The first time we ever went hunting, the first time he ever took me hunting was on a dove hunt. I remember he got me this really cool gun. It was a single shot 410 bolt action shotgun. And that's what I went dove hunting with. And I shot some birds my first time out and I was so pumped. You know, I was probably like eight or nine years old. And from then on, I was hooked on hunting. So this is really just about me and dad coming out and enjoying the outdoors. He was so excited last year when we went. He had a 12 gauge in the Remington Model 11. And he went out and he got a 16 gauge a few weeks ago, cleaned it up, uh, this old humpback style. It's really awesome. Uh oh. Uh oh, we got a couple other hunters in the field right now. They just popped three up. Dad's on the other side of the pond right now. It looks like the doves are starting to fly, but let's blast some birds, y'all. Well, that Texas sun is 100% completely out now. Dad's got one dove. I've got none, how's that? Oh, what do we got here? We got one coming. No, we don't, that's a mockingbird. It's not exactly on fire. You can keep 15 a piece. Keep bag limits, 15 a piece. That would be 30, but now we got one. Got a little work to do. Just discovered on this shotgun, there's a beautiful pheasant and a mallard on there. Is indicating to me that this is probably a full choke, which makes it even worse for me. I need that wide spray, man. I had one that came right in front of me. I shot three times, did a circle around me. I put another shell in and I still missed. I'm getting me some OSG approved oatmeal squirts. Hopefully it doesn't give me the squirts out here. The pond I'm sitting next to, they're coming to it now. They come in there, they suckle a little water and then they fly off. They're in there for about five minutes. Really what I should do is get a rod, fish, and then just cast and blast. I don't have a rod with me though, dang it. Dad's moving in closer to the pond. I gotta play this strategy out. They're gonna get up like that one is right now. And I'm probably gonna miss them if they come this way, but I'll at least blast some shells at them, let them know what's up. It's the bounty is slim. Yes. Yeah. I can't say anything because I have none. I should have had at least six. When the bird flops around right in front of you and you shoot three times, you just wanna go home. Yeah. I do wanna see. If I can hit something. I think we should toss it up in the air. Let's shoot it off the ground first, just to make sure I can actually hit something. I'm gonna see what this shot pattern's like on this old 16 gauge with a full choke at, uh, let's just say, 22 yards. That's a dang on bow shot. Killed it. Boy, this sucker's got more kick when you're not shooting at a bird. You got your adrenaline going. How bad we're pepperoni in this pizza right here. Looks like full coverage on this disc that's about 
a foot in diameter. Here's the real test. This is the real interesting one here. Go for it. Pull. I don't think I hit it. Terrible. I think I hit it. Yeah. I did hit it. Oh yeah, no doubt. Oh great. Let me try a self one. Missed it. Totally. Damn it's, hard. It's, uh, there's a water bottle over here. What the hell am I to give directions? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, old blaster over here. I figured you'd get enough lead up there, it'll come down. Hey! Let it down just a little bit. I know this is a rather weird transition, but we had to leave that spot. It's getting hot. Me and OSG are working on flipping baby. Anyway, that's on, uh, that's on the home vlog if you want to check that one out. She is Mondo Preggers right now. We're <laughs> literally just talking about when we're going to schedule uh, babies being born. It's almost evening time. Me and dad are gonna head back out there. Time to strap on some camo. Get out of my birthday suit. Just kidding, <laughs> I'm not naked. But I did have a tick on me and I had to strip down and check y'all. Y'all know what that's about. Well, he's gonna get shot. We have just seen way more doves on the drive out than we did this morning and one just landing in a tree over there. That's that's my kind of dove right there. They're definitely gonna come to this watering hole that's behind us. So we better load up and get ready because we've already seen a couple. All right, come here, buddy. Nice little morning dove. Put him on my pouch. Got one. Oh, bird number two down. Came up on me so fast, couldn't turn the GoPro on. Nailed you, the old 16 gauge. Got him. Come on over here. Oh, there's two. Just get right. There we go. I think I winged him. Got one. Tell me something good, Father. I found a bone. Jeez, you did find a big bone. Is that for Miss B? It's, yeah. Well, I don't know that uh, your mother would like Miss B eating that, but it does look kind of scrumptious, doesn't it? Is there anything else we can eat uh, in the well, bucket? I have three. You got three. I should have had seven. Yeah. Yeah, maybe or, eight. Or nine. Yeah. yeah or maybe 10. <laughs> but. Uh, did you have fun? I did. I had a blast. I was shooting quite a bit, Dad. Yes, I did get some. All right. I did get some. I'm not sure if I have three. We're about to see. Three to add to your three from this morning, which is six. We're 24 away from our limit currently. <laughs> the problem I have though, these full chokes, right? Is when they come in close, there's no chance. I got a better chance at jumping up and grabbing them than I do actually hitting them. It's a cool gun. It's a good caliber for doing this. Shooting these old guns. Kind of a lot of fun. It's like a throwback. There's some sunglasses. That's always good to find in your back hatch. There's one, two, three. Oh, I feel oh, some feathers. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Quattro. <laughs> so like you, I probably should have had eight or nine. But seven, you had three this morning. Hey, we got 10. So we got 10 today. <laughs> I mean, we're only 20 off our limit. Shooting birds is fun. Wrap these in some bacon and some jalapenos. <laughs> Back at the coffee, y'all. Time to do a little cleaning. I want to show y'all my very first shotgun. This right here is going to be Emmy's one day. Maybe if we have a boy, we'll save it for him. Old Ben. Benjamin River. This is a super safe gun for a young person to use and anyone that's just getting into firearms to learn on. A New Haven Model 7 Mossberg and Sons. Light, it's pretty short, just feels good man and you got that simple operation right there so very simple process to walk through you get a shell open it up you put one in you close that 
And there you go. That's how you learn bolt action. First time you took ever took me dove hunting. How old was I? Like eight, nine? You were uh, eight or seven or eight. Seven or eight years old. Shot my first one when I was a youngster, man. Yeah, you got three birds the first day. Three birds my first day ever going dove hunting. Yeah. Hey, shot one more than that today. Oh, still got it, baby. Clean one of them for you on camera, just so you know. Getting into dove hunting, maybe you haven't got your license yet. Go get it. Season just started. I think Dad picked one of these up at Academy for like 15 bucks or something like that. So you can swivel on it. It's got a little swivel top. You can swing around and get you a bird or two. You want to pluck the bird first. So you basically just want to come up through here. The last time we uh, we cleaned these, they were they were winter birds, so they probably had more fat on them. But this is this is so easy if you've never done this. Like you'll you'll just feel it come right right up. Dad, I apologize, these feathers are coming up. We'll get these feathers off the breast, and when you shoot them, you'll see uh, little pellet shots. Old tweeter got it close to the neck right there. You just wanna take your, your forefinger right there, grip it right on top, and then take your thumb, this is the most important part, get your thumb up under that brow. I'll, I'll, I'll get in there, guys, just give me a second. Get your thumb right up under there, and then push in. See how my thumb just went in there like that? It's super easy. It's like God just made these things to be super easy to clean. Then all you gotta do, since they're such a delicate creature, especially these morning doves, push down there with your index finger. With your other hand, grab the whole body, hold it down, and then pull up. Then all that's gonna be attached is the wings. You can get a knife, you can get in there and cut them, but usually what I do is just twist until they come off. And then you're left with uh, just the breast. So there you go. There's your finished product right there, y'all. You can take that skin off if you want, but the bones are just broken right there off the wings. Then you got your breast. There's a dark meat, uh, and then there's a kind of a light meat on the inside. If you've never eaten these before, both of those meats are delectable and delicious. So just get in there, dig in. It's like a small little chicken. My favorite way to eat these is wrapped in bacon and jalapeno. So we will be doing that with these, but you can also chop them up, throw them in a stew if you got a bunch of them. And they're just a super lean meat. There's not a whole lot of fat on them at all. All right, Dad, you're hiding. We got a few more to go, man. Well, guys, what a day in the outdoors it was hunting birds with old LFD. The main important thing, dad had a good time and we got to spend some good time together in the outdoors. As we get older in life, those days become more and more special. So LFD, I wanna thank you for taking me hunting and fishing when I was a kid, shooting my first doves when I was eight years old, catch my first fish when I was three years old. Hope you guys enjoyed a little blasting today. We are gonna cook those up on the grill, me, OSG, and the fam. We are reaching our last leg of summer. Time to cool down. Time for those fish to start biting again. It's almost time for deer season and all that fun stuff. And little Amy to be here all at once. A lot of stuff happening right here, guys. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the ding-dongs for all the notifications. Thank you guys for being here today. I hope you're having a blessed day wherever you are, and I will see you very soon on the next one.